Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In the last video tutorial, we downloaded and installed Vivaldi web browser. So in this tutorial, let's go and have a look at some of the key features which makes this browser different from all the other web browsers. So I'm going to load up the web browser and I'm here on the default screen. So this is really what you're going to see when you first load up the software. Now, the first thing it asks is just some like key features here. What you want to do is to take a moment to set up the basic, um, set up the basics and import some existing bookmarks. So if you're using something like Google Chrome, Firefox or Internet Explorer, you can import all your bookmarks. So you can click continue and then it's going to detect what browsers you're using and you can click on these browsers and import all your bookmarks if you want to. I'm just going to skip this part. In the next part, you can choose a different theme. So you can pick on a different color and you will have these different colored backgrounds. In this case, I'm going to stick with this like uh, this default. Maybe let's have a look at the gray. Maybe I'm going to stick with the gray color, but you can pick any color that you like. I'm going to click continue. And then this is the interesting part. Normally in web browsers, you, your tabs sit at the, uh, the top of the web browser, right? Or you can have them in this case, you can have them in like little tab sections down the side here. You can have it at the bottom. You can have it over the right here. So these every time you open a tab uh, to view another web page, they'll show here. Um, I think it's pretty common to see them across the top now. So I'm going to leave mine across the top like this. I'm going to click continue. And then if you um, have this browser installed on other devices like your laptop or your phones or any other sort of device, you can set up an account and then all of your bookmarks and all of your data will be synced across all of your devices for this particular web browser. So you can set it up and get registered. In this case, I'm going to skip it because I'm not. I'm only really going to be using this browser on my desktop computer. So I'm going to click skip. And here you can join the community. Uh, you can get a free email account and you can watch some tutorials here. I'm going to go through some of the... Uh, uh, some of the basics you can follow them on social media here this particular developer or this web browser uh, but i'm going to show you some basics myself right now so i'm going to click finish and when i click finish this is what really what you're going to see um, this is almost like a little introduction area where you can bookmark your favorite websites uh, you can easily right click and you can start deleting the ones that you don't want so let's just delete a few of these that we're not really going to be using In fact, I'm going to pretty much do all of these. You can keep the ones that you want, but I'm going to show you how to set them up yourself. Let's get rid of all of these. Let's start from scratch. So here we just got this one tab. Um, I'm going to click here and then it's going to ask me, what do I want to bookmark? Now you've got two options here. Either you can create a folder and add many bookmarks within that folder, or you can just add one on its own. So in this case, I'm just going to add YouTube. I'm going to type in youtube.com and click add. And then it's going to go to YouTube and get the thumbnail and then it will show YouTube here like this. Um, and now let's show you another example. So here I'm going to click add and in here I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to, and this new folder is going to call, be called web development. Yeah? So inside web development I can click inside of this folder now and now I can add a bookmark here. And this one I'm going to put in is my website, dcpweb.co.uk. And then we'll add another one here. And let's just say, for example, we want to put in, I don't know, Twitter, for example, twitter.com. And maybe we'll add in uh, also like Facebook, for example. So here we've got three tabs. And if we click on this top section here, it's going to move us back to the root. And it's almost like stacking folders or stacking content. So now I've got these three in here. Um, if I were to close down the web browser, let's close it down and load it up again. This is the first thing you're going to see and I can click on YouTube here and it will load up YouTube. Nice and simple. If I open a new tab, I've got YouTube still here. I can close YouTube and then I can right click on here and I can say open all bookmarks. So I can open all three bookmarks in one go just by one simple click. So if this folder contained maybe all of the websites that you normally open up every day, it could be all news websites. So we could create another folder here, for example. Let's uh, click here and let's click create a new folder. Let's call this news websites. And then we can click on this folder. And inside this folder, we could add bbc.co.uk. And then we could add itv.com. I think that's right. 
uh, then maybe we'll add something like cnn.com add. So here we've got three different types of news websites. We can click back. And in this case, we open these three tabs. So let's close these three. And now I can right click here and open all bookmarks. And then I'll open all of these news websites all in one go. It's really easy to access and load content quite quickly, especially stuff that you're going to load quite often, like uh, all of your work stuff or all your new stuff like that. So this is really what you're going to see when you open up this web browser. Now, there's another interesting feature. Um, let's say, for example, you're on YouTube and you're watching something on YouTube. So here we're on YouTube. And let's open up a new tab and let's go to Twitter. Twitter.com. Uh, actually, let's go to. Let's not do that. I don't want to log in here for the minute. So let's look at another site. Let's look at. Let's just go to BBC. Okay. So we've got two websites open. We've got BBC. We'll close this start page. So we've got YouTube and BBC open now. And what I'm going to do is click on the icon. So this little icon of BBC. I'm going to click on that. Drag this tab down, right? So I'm click on it and drag it down and then drag it on top of YouTube here. Let's try that again. Let's drag it on top of YouTube. It should uh, here. So when you drag a t one tab on top of another, you create almost like a, a window section here. You can see this tab like this. So I can click on, I can move my mouse cursor over here and then click on the BBC website, then I see the BBC one. If I go back here and click on YouTube, then I'll see YouTube here. So you can almost have tabs stacked here and on the top here. So in theory, we should be able to stack a third one as well. But before we do that, the interesting thing we can do here is we can right click. So when we stack two tabs like this, we can right click and we can do uh, tile tab stack. So we can tile them. Now we've got two websites running side by side in the same browser window. See, I don't think I've seen this feature on other websites like Chrome or other browsers. Um, but we could have YouTube here or we could have the BBC. Let's scroll this across here. So we could have YouTube here playing a video. Let's click on a video. Uh, let's just uh, click on this one here. We'll mute this. So we've got BBC playing here. And then down the side, uh, we could click on something like uh, this this here we could read about news down the side here so I find that quite interesting that we could be watching something here or listening to music on YouTube but at the same time browsing over here and then we can just resize uh, as and when we need to and this will then become responsive and then we can see the full site over here so that's quite interesting but one thing I haven't tried is three tabs all at the same time so let's go to uh, let's say CNN CNN Let's go to cnn.com and let's try and drag that CNN. So now, now we've got all three. We've got YouTube in the middle. Uh, then we've got we've got YouTube in the middle, CNN and BBC here. One thing I don't think we can do though, and I'm not sure how to do that, is how to move these tabs across. It doesn't look like there's a way to do that. So maybe. Uh, that's something the developers can think about. Maybe when you move your mouse cursor over here, you can drag these tiles to reorder them in the position here because I would have liked YouTube on this side with the two websites on this side or maybe just the way that you drag these tabs in here will make the difference. Um, so there doesn't really seem to be a way to do that here. But you can ungroup the stack so you can ungroup it and have all three of them running separately. And I assume if we um, put YouTube first, then drag CNN onto YouTube, and then drag the BBC one onto this tab here as well, then if we were to right click and stack them, then we would have the BBC here, the CNN, and the YouTube at the end. So that's the only way you can really restack them at the moment. But again, here we can see all three websites all in the one browser window. Um, and I find that quite interesting to do it, the way that works. So let's open this tab up and let's close this one. And then you can see down here you've got these features. So you can see all of the bookmarks here. You can see what content you've downloaded. So 
you can also see here notes you can write little notes some sort of information let's write our first note so let's write one here um, needs to check YouTube page later today you can write a little note here Quite interesting things here. You can add like a screenshot as well. Um, you can screen capture certain bits of information and add that into the, the notes as well. That's quite interesting. That's really quite a good feature. So imagine if you're, I don't know, doing some work on a website. Let's say if I'm on my website for now, and let's uh, right click or delete this one. So in delete, even if you delete it, you have to re-delete it again. So it's, it's hiding it. So it's keeping a copy of what you've deleted. So we click add here, add a new note. And if I say in here something like, need to update form processing on DCP. Okay. So I could write that note, need to update form processing on my website. Then I could take a add a capture of a selected area so I could click on that and then maybe I will capture let's say just this form here this part here I'll capture it click this little button here to capture it and then I could go ahead and close this whole web browser when I open it up again I can look at my notes here's my notes and if I click on here I'll see that I've got a note here that I need to do something click on that and then it will show me that screen capture. So that's quite interesting. It's quite useful actually. You can resize it and do all good stuff here. So do go and experiment with this browser. It's it's, it's a couple of years old, so it's been around for a little while now. Uh, you can see all the, the history here, all the windows. You can quickly get back and open up another website uh, or web page that you browsed for previously. And then you can add a new web panel. So with these web panels, um, this is basically you're adding one of these panels here but you can do it from this feature here add a web panel uh, we could do something like Twitter so we click on Twitter then you'll have this dedicated panel here um, so if I were to add something like let's say BBC then that's quite interesting actually so if I um, if you see down here there's this little option here show and hide panel so if I show it um, you can actually add custom tabs here so you could have like the BBC website always open so you can have that always open down the side here as you're browsing the internet this will re work really well on um, uh, ultra wide monitors so you could leave that running, running there then you could open up YouTube here so you've got now you've got YouTube running and this is like a permanent tab here now. So it's almost like splitting the windows like we did before. But now you can just browse between Twitter and all your different social media or your news websites down the side here. We could add a third one actually. Let's add a third one. Let's add, uh, let's add my own website. So here I've got my own website down the side here. And I've got YouTube over here. You could be browsing multiple content all in the same browser window. So that's quite interesting um, to see that functionality in this browser I expect uh, quite a few of these features might end up in some some of the other web browsers that we use you know on a regular basis like uh, Internet Explorer Firefox or Google Chrome so definitely I think this web browser is worth downloading uh, and giving it a go see what you think it seems quite stable seems quite fast uh, which is always a good thing and see how you get on okay so those are some of the basic features of Vivaldi Web Browser. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP Web Tutorial.